All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. And then all we have to do, duplicate the same exact circle, make it bigger, drop it down. You might be wondering, how is this going to be a head? We just rasterize this layer style. X this out, X this out, and hopefully get this just about right, right here. Bam! Just like that, we have a brand new avatar icon. It's a lot more simple than it looks. Uh, something I like to teach newer UI designers and graphic designers in general is anytime you see a shape and you're nervous to recreate it, just break it down in your head. For example, what is this? This is just a square. It could be with a triangle, two triangles on the side, just two lines and a circle in the middle. This is just squares and a triangle. It's not really that hard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this one, put in our brand new avatar logo. All right, real quick, just to let y'all know, we have a uh completely new website as you can see here so if you hit shop we have all the categories so if you go to user interface as you can see and uh, the process now should be a lot smoother to download and uh, purchase products you have a search bar up here and if you want to log in sign up but uh, yeah with that being said make sure to check our website at gfxcomma.com hope you enjoy this video and now comes the hard part not really but it's the part where we have to decide on what exactly do we want to do with these these separate icons so let me just select this for now and let's just play around with the colors for a bit so I'm liking the color white on these I'm envisioning something white and then we just add an inner shadow but that we might have to tweak with just a bit All right, and just due to the fact that everything is a bit low res, I don't wanna give you guys a tutorial which uh, you guys cannot recreate. I'm just gonna go ahead and remake all the logos, I guess. And we use ellipses for this. Put this polygon here. Same exact thing, color overlay and let's see how they do it so they just have the rectangle sort of like this ah. so we tilt it to the side a bit and we have one side of our basket and so now what we can do is go back to this rectangle we shorten it by far. And bring this out once. Do the same thing, just duplicate this layer just to make your workload that much smaller. And bam! And so now we're gonna have to create these little branches on top. I don't know what they're called. Okay. Find a white we like. Uh, we'll just go on here and do the basic white, I guess. And we'll messed up on that. We're gonna increase the stroke by just that much. not showing it's not showing all right a little shortcut i'm gonna take guys is just using a rectangle i don't even feel like dealing with the line right now um color overlay this put it above everything else for some reason my all 
Ah, uh, here's all my lost work. Shape one, we're gonna delete this. Now we are gonna finally be able to figure out the missing piece, color overlay, there we go. And we have our top part. And they did this at sort of an angle like this. And something I do also recommend you guys do is learn how to make vectors. And an important part of this is a lot of the time you'll see me in these tutorials having to remake logos like this frequently. It's not something new, I'd say, but if you have simple logos already made, like a home icon, a profile pic, these things, when you're actually doing your commission, all you'll have to do is pop your icons in. It's that simple. And that's gonna guarantee your client doesn't get upset because you use something off of Google. And when you're working for bigger commissions, people really don't like when the work you use is not really fully made for them. And that's because, that's because they're paying you a lot of money to do this. So they expect the best they really do expect the best they can get. And so now what we're doing is just centering this. Uh, rasterize layer, select the pixel, go on the polygon, delete ones, go on here. You can delete this layer now. And we should have our little basket perfect. Let's put our original icons over here. And like I said before, the only reason I remade all these icons, or I'm about to remake all these icons is, I wanna show you guys how easy it is really to do all these things. Cause a lot of you guys have doubts in yourselves and that's really what does stop us a lot of us especially from starting things like UI. It seems really hard once you see a video or a tutorial or something on it, but once you just break everything down into much simpler pieces, it becomes just that much easier. Duplicate the layer on this, go here. And now we could even go here for now. Simple, and then we go on the polygon tool, select three. There we go. And we're just gonna select all of these and just merge them just so it's just that much cleaner. We don't wanna forget about this. Merge shapes. And I'll put in a white overlay real quick. There we go. Oops, looks like we went a bit too far. And now for this, I really don't think this needs to be recreated just due to the fact that the only really low res ones were in fact this and this and the profile picture. So let's go ahead and delete this for now and hold Alt while you scale down your icons.
just gonna make sure everything matches length and width height. Let's make a folder for these. Just title them icons. We'll rasterize everything we have. For all this, we're just gonna go to, oh, farewell. This one, we'll go to color overlay. Just make it white. Copy layer style. Paste layer style. Paste layer style, oops. I got everyone except by the one we needed. And go here, rasterize layer style. And now what we can do for this is go here, go back to that inner shadow look and see how it plays out. have a nice little one and I don't like the way this looks particularly I just think it should be a bit more skinny here we are it's a little too and guys so this is pretty much my attempt at making the Bloxburg UI. Oops, this thing is off center. Well, now this is my attempt at making the Bloxburg UI better. And what you should have learned from this video is how to utilize gradients and how to make simple gradient patterns. So stacking gradients on top of each other using basic things like inner shadow to make all your UI's empty spaces pop out for entry boxes, anything like that. And you should learn how to do basic vectors on Photoshop. Like I said before, I do recommend that you do this type of work, especially for icons like this on Adobe Illustrator. Then you import it on here. And other than that, guys, I think that's pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> but if you guys have any more suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Join our Discord community down below. And check out our shop if you're in the market for UI assets or you just want something you can practice off of. On that, guys, it's been a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.